Hello to you my fellow Gooners and welcome to Arsenal TV. This video today is about Mkhitaryan. Um, now the news broke out a couple of um, days ago, maybe a week before um, the Europa League final, that Henrik Mkhitaryan will be missing the Europa League final. And for Arsenal that is a massive miss because you know he's been so he's been such a key player for us in the running for the Europa League. Um, the only game that Mkhitaryan did miss was the game against Karabakh in Azerbaijan. Now, for those of you that don't know the situation with Armenian, um, Armenian and Azerbaijan, what it is is that the two countries had a conflict um, about the Azerbaijan doesn't want people from Armenia going into their country for for some particular reason. Now. I know the Armenian people have been trying to get uh, visas to go into Azerbaijan, but they've been refused. Now, that was the whole thing. And because Mkhitaryan is involved in it, it's because, one, he's, Alme he's Armenian. Um, plus, he's one of the biggest players' names for Armenian uh, country. And he is the captain. Now, the reason why the Arsenal doesn't want a chance in taking... Mkhitaryan over there is because just in case if he get abused he could get threatened he could get shot those are the things that they have to bear in mind now if they if Mkhitaryan did travel with the team they have to realize that Mkhitaryan wouldn't be the only person that would be in danger even the players the staff the manager um, would also be in that conflict um, because obviously he's traveling with them so that is the whole situation on it um, now, UEFA are a bit stupid, and I'm kind of a bit disgusted with them. Um, my honest opinion on it is because what they should have done, if they knew that it could affect the players' safety, what UEFA should have done is that they should have um, realised the situation before booking the venue, um, and then nothing will have happened. Why couldn't UEFA do what they used to do back in the day, where um, if you had two European teams, like two English teams, in a European final, then the European final would be held in their country, i.e. for us, it would be Wembley. That's what, they, that's what they should have done. Because going into this game now, it's caused a lot of uh, conflict for fans to get there. Um, I think a plane can only take 1,500 people over to there in one day. Um, and then obviously after the Europa League final on the Thursday, they will have, um, Arsenal will have a parade in London at the Emirates if we win. Um, but it is a pretty much shambolic thing that they've had to do. Why should this situation between Armenia and Azerbaijan affect a player's career why should he miss an opportunity to go and play in a major European final why does he have to sacrifice his career to all, all because of a a political uh, a political um, argument bef between the two countries and I think it's a disgrace I honestly do but if they want to say you know we can let you go over there um, but we are very unsure of your safety. Then obviously Mkhitaryan is putting himself first. Uh, and for him to miss out on the Europa League final. Um, now guys, I'm going to read out the statement um, that Arsenal made by this um, situation. So uh, this is what they quoted. We are very disappointed to announce that Henrik Mkhitaryan will not be travelling with the squad for our European final against Chelsea in Baku. We have thoughtfully exploited all the options for Mickey to be a part of this of the squad. But after discussing this with Mickey and his family, we have collectively agreed that he will not be in our travelling party. We have written to UEFA expressing our deep concerns about this situation. Mickey has been a key player in our run to the Euro to the final, so this is a big loss for us from from a team perspective. We're also very sad that a player will miss out on a major European final in in the circumstances such as this, as it is something that comes along very rarely in a footballer's career. 
Mickey will continue to be a part of our preparations until we depart for Baku at the weekend. That was the statement that came out of Arsenal, uh, and that is what they have said about the situation. Um, now, we know that Arsenal have actually travelled to Baku today, um, so Mkhitaryan has been left at home. Um, now, I'm going to read that what Mickey put on his Twitter on his Twitter account, and this is what he quoted. It's the kind of game that doesn't come along very often for us players, and I must admit it hurts me a lot to miss it. I will be cheering my teammates on. Let's bring it home. That is the quote that Mkhitaryan put up um, on his Twitter account about uh, you know, for him to miss the game. So, yeah, it, I think UEFA are taking the mickey. Let's put it that way. I honestly think they are. Because if this was a situation such as the likes of Ronaldo, for instance, or Messi, um, say the... They, like, let's just say, for instance, Azerbaijan didn't want no Argentinians, Argentinians over there. Um, and they're saying that Miss, Messi would have to miss the game. UEFA will have changed, this, will have changed the uh, venue straight away. Without a doubt, they would have changed it. Even if it was the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo. If um, Azerbaijan didn't want Portuguese people over there. The same thing will have happened. UEFA will have looked at it and said, right, we're changing the venue. We're going to change it straight away. But because it is someone that is born in Armenian, which is uh, Mkhitaryan, they're not going to change it. They're, UEFA are saying that they are very unsure about his safety. He could go, Mkhitaryan could go over there and he could get acid thrown in his face. Or he could go over there and he could potentially get shot. It's, it's, it's because of the conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, the political um, conflict that they've got. It's because they want, they, don't, they want a border between the two countries and, you know, it's stopping the people from going and it, it is stupid. It is utter stupid. As I said, why does a player's career have to be in jeopardy because of it? I think it is absolutely ridiculous. Um... Guys, another bit of news that actually came out of Arsenal uh, was Petr Cech. Um, it came out a week before the Europa League uh, for us to go over there. And um, I think it's came out at the wrong timing. Very, very wrong timing. Um, Petr Cech came out. Sky Sports leaked to it. And it was that Petr Cech has agreed to join Chelsea as a sporting director. So we all knew that he was going to go to Chelsea anyway. We all knew that. But as I said on Canon for the TV, on Easy Talk, the last time I was on there, I did say that Petr Cech, he is a Chelsea legend. He's not an Arsenal legend. So that is what people need to realise. So because of the timing and that we have got to play against Chelsea in that Europa League final, I personally now would like to see Lino in goal. Um, I remember when Arsenal was playing in the FA Cup a long time ago. They had Richard, they had Richard Wright in goal um, up until the final, and then what they done, they changed him and put David Seaman in for the final. Now I reckon now, uh, I reckon now that Unai Emery should do the same. Petr Cech, don't get me wrong, he's done nothing wrong in this Europa League for this Europa League tournament, but. For me, I feel that Lino is the better goalkeeper and he should start the Europa League final. Um, and I just think the timing is all wrong for that news to come out. As because we are four days away from us playing against Chelsea in the Europa League final. So, um, yeah, that's what I would suggest. But whether or not Emery will do that, I don't know. He may stick to his commitment that he asked the Petr Cech to say, look, I've... I'm using you for the Europa League game, uh, Europa League tournament, and then we'll leave you to the end. But you've got to realise, guys, Lino actually started the Europa League because Petr Cech was injured. Um, so, yeah, as I said, guys, that's another bit of news that's come out is about Petr Cech. Um, so, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button, and make sure you are hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Um, guys, tomorrow I am actually meeting up with Canon Fodder TV, Alex. Uh, he's coming down. We're doing a video on his channel. 
and I might actually get his thoughts on the Europa League uh, against the Ch against Chelsea as well um, for my video. So that'll be absolute. That'll be great to do. Um, so guys, until my next video, I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.